all right good morning everyone observation king with you here today and uh i just want to say it's a very nice morning it's still relatively early where i am right now in the uk um i believe it's just gone past 8 a.m um and of course this is a saturday that i am filming this video uh but yeah it's quite cool i'm out here you know not wearing too much just got a nice t-shirt on and that's pretty much it um very comfortable temperatures indeed but i wanted to speak about my uh strawberries here and basically these are the strawberries that came from the main strawberry plant that i've had for about six years now uh, if you've been following my channel you would actually know this um i've got one two or essentially three because i've got two strawberry plants in this part so one two three four and then over here i've got a fifth one and of course the main one is uh to the left of the balcony which uh, i'll show you right now so that over there is the main strawberry plant that we've had for six years. You can see that the leaves are still growing, they're still big. Um, surprisingly, it hasn't produced any strawberries yet, whereas the others actually have. So I thought that was rather interesting. Now back to these strawberries. The only one that I actually have gotten from the main plant that hasn't actually produced any strawberries yet, or flowers I should say, is this one. Um, this one only has about two main leaves. That are still essentially photosynthesizing this one's more or less dead now so i wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't doing anything anymore but you can see there's new leaves new shoots coming out of the crown there but these ones have actually been flowering and producing strawberries you can see there's one that's uh, starting to get red here all of these were flowers and then we've got a ripe one just down here that is completely red and remember in this uh, yogurt bucket there's actually two strawberry plants so that's just amazing because i've actually had these for only about how long is it now uh well i can't really think of how long i've had them for but it's definitely less than two years and i know that strawberries typically don't produce strawberries until the second year of their life and i've had these ones for literally less than two years and they've already started producing strawberries now this one over here has i believe two flowers it hasn't actually produced well, it actually, it has actually. It has started producing a strawberry in this flower. Well, my thumb is. This one is still in the process of waiting to be pollinated. And then, of course, the final one over here, which is also less than two years old, producing lots and lots of leaves here. They're very, very dark green. And over here, they're kind of growing into my lavender, which is uh, something I need to make a video about, actually. Um, and you can see there's a number of strawberries growing there too, but they're still green. And it's already sent out a runner. This is what we call a runner, right? Which is basically what starts a new strawberry plant process. So I've deliberately put that into the soil to start the roots, um, to uh, encourage the roots to start developing. And then eventually once that actually reaches a certain depth, the roots reach a certain depth in the soil, I can then uproot that and then put it somewhere else. And then there we go, we have another strawberry plant. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my strawberries guys. They are doing quite well I would prefer it if they were actually in um, In soil uh, when I say in soil, I mean like in the ground Instead of being in containers or at the very least being bigger containers, but of course I have limited space on my balcony um, But I may actually be doing some of these strawberries in the future in uh, in an allotment that I am actually uh, doing some work on two so perhaps we'll actually be seeing more of that in the future uh, but for now i just have them in these yogurt buckets which is doing the job um, of course they don't get really massive but they are quite sweet i've had some of them uh, before last year i have no doubt that these ones will be sweet too so we just keep growing our own food i mean yeah i'm pretty happy about them and i guess i just want to encourage everyone who actually does have the space just please just really grow your own food because it is so, so rewarding to actually grow your own stuff and actually eat it. So, yeah. So, I guess that will be that for the strawberry update today. And I'll keep you updated on them in the future. Thank you for watching. See you.